Hello everyone and welcome back to Five Parsecs from Home. You find us on a new planet, the planet of KL7274, sometimes known as Dead End. It is another desert world. It's it is cons it is like conspicuously dead, but still has an atmosphere like nothing grows here. And it's basically useless for habitation, so it's a good like so you have pirate and bandit haven. But recently, as of the events that happened on um, Cocytus, Cocytus, I, I'm still not on the planet anymore and it's still haunting me. Um, plants have once again begun to grow. So, yeah, it is up to the, um, uh, the uh, ex-humanities department. To see if they can find where these plants are coming from, see if they can, con if it is a precursor to a um, precursor terraforming device, see if they can control it. And if you can, I mean, the amount of new livable worlds in the universe would be huge. But you need to get past the whole horrific mutations thing, which is bad. So, yeah, uh, first up, we have a package to deliver on this here planet. On a nine or more, we get a loot roll. Ten! Hey! Our loot roll is... Uh, eight. Uh, someone's given us a weapon. That uh, weapon is... Ah, uh, 59. It's a special weapon. Ooh! Don't know what special weapons are. Um... 74. 74 special weapon is... It's a shogun. Oh, it's a rocket launcher. Ooh, <laughs> that's tempting. Um, I legit might give that to Kirk. I've given... Um, I think I've currently, I've given um, the rattle gun we got last time to Orgak, but I might swap them out, give the shell gun to Wargak, just because it fits his character more, <laughs> and um, give the rattle gun to um, Kirk. I, they're both heavy weapons, but at combat plus three, that's still pretty good. So, yeah. Ooh, okay. I'm, I am down with that. Um, thank you, mysterious person we returned a personal trinket to. You're the best. <laughs> um, hell yeah, rocket launcher and a minigun. We have slightly up up armed ourselves this time. Um, as a reminder, um, we can't. We can only explore once because of um world restrictions. Any guns we buy or find on the trade table cost us extra money, so not great. But we do get a free trade, which is actually pretty good. Um, so, yeah, okay. Um, first up, uh, Anissa and Orgak are both going to train. Um, Orgak is aiming to go up to um next point of... Reaction, which I believe in his next point of experience after this. And Anissa, Anissa is spending 6 XP to get an enhanced ability on Guide, which means she can now roll 3d6, not 2d6 for the distance. Now, normally I have her about this far away from um, Lyra anyway. But quite honestly, it means that she can, um, say 3d6 means a minimum of 3 inches. Uh, she can boost it up to um, 24 inches now, which is the majority of the table. So she might be able to get some decent trick shots off. The only person that can't use it now is Orgak with his shell gun, but eh, we will take it. Uh, Kirk and um, the free one are going to do trades. I do not trust Kirk with the explore. So Kirk gets... 94. Uh, 94 on the trade table is medical reserves and plus two stim packs. Oh, thank God. And 
The free roll is also going to be up to five stim packs now. I should probably get the little thing out. Um, hell yes, hell yes. And Lyra is doing an explore. See if we can get another rumor. We need to get rumors as quickly as possible. Uh, 76 is. Oh, okay. Um, just needs a little love. Roll on the gadget table on page 29. But the item is damaged and needs to be repaired. Okay, cool. What's page 29? It's here somewhere. It's after page 28, for those of you following at home. I am playing for time while I fl uh, flick to it. Okay, gadget. We have got a broken 97. We're getting really high rolls today. Broken 97. <coughs> it's a broken stim pack. So we've got five regular stim packs and a broken stim pack. <laughs> cool. Okay, that is... I mean, it's nice to be prepared. Now, on to the big one. We have got two rumours, so on a one or two, we start a new quest chain, and that'll be our last quest chain of the campaign. No, we do not. So we're going to do an opportunity. And that mission is going to have deployment condition of uh, two, which is nothing. We have a notable site, uh, 22, 22 is gain a quest rumour, so that has now become more important than winning the actual mission, holy poops, okay, um, what is our mission, I mean, here now, so, we've got 78 is Two objectives I need to complete both to achieve the mission. Um, I do keep forgetting if, if I get this and I do succeed, I do gain plus one XP. So the objectives are uh, one, access, and two, 17, defend. Okay. I believe. Access is you've got to complete a savvy roll at the centre of the table. I believe defend is you have to hold the field and there's an extra bad guy. I'll obviously check that beforehand, but access is time limit is no time limit. Defend is 75, four rounds. Okay, so whatever I roll needs to be killed in four rounds. Oof. All of the oofs. Um, just roll check up here, defend. Oh, okay, so they are aggressive and I get plus one to the numbers. Also, Christ, because it's uh, we're on um, round 20 now, so we can't not get elite level enemies. So who are we facing on this here opportunity mission? It is going to be... Uh, 53, Hired Muscle. Ooh. Yeah, our elite level Hired Muscle is... Uh, 63, Skulker Mercenaries. Okay. Oh, God, plus four. Okay, so we are facing nine enemies. We've got to kill nine enemies in four turns. Um, they are incredibly fast. You cannot seize the initiative. Uh, firefight standard. Replace hand lasers with infantry. Oh, God. Oh, my God. These are terrifying. Um, visibility is always limited to nine inches for crew. Oh, that is nasty. That's real nasty. Okay. Uh, do they have a unique individual as well? Just make this even worse. <laughs> they do. The unique individual is seven. Da -da 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 -da. An elite heavy. Okay, so 
Christ. Uh, <laughs> um, so, on top of everything else, so we're going to have a lieutenant, three specialists, a heavy, and um, five regular dudes. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> no, skulkers have two C on their weapons, uh, which is. Da -da 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 -da. Two, two, and three. So they have military rifles and fury rifles. Good, 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 good. And for the record, uh, that nine inch visibility only applies to us, not to the enemy. So we need to get in. Um, I'm very glad I equipped my entire team with heavy weapons before this fight. Oh, send help. Please send help. <laughs> this may be a case of grab the quest room and run. I know we've got five stim packs, and I've got a horrible feeling we won't at the end of this fight. And here we are, back on a desert planet. It has been a hot minute, but now it's going to be a hot few campaign turns. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe for more of these jokes. Uh, yeah, we've got the... Um, the quest room has spawned right next to us, so I've just put Orgak there to just grab it quickly. Uh, we've got to try and get um, nav data out of this um, uh, crashed like work, vi uh, work van. Just all of the bad guys. Uh... Blue guy with sword is the lieutenant. Red guy with swords is the captain. Two guys with rocket launchers are the specialists. The green dude is the um, psionic. Oh, not psionic. The um, heavy, the unique individual. So. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Uh, firstly, are there any psychics? Yes, one of them is a psychic. There are ten of them. Okay. Um... One, two, three, four. Okay, it's these. The unique individual. Um, get eight. Uh, that is crush. Um, when the psionic activates, the closest crew figure in sight takes a plus zero damage hit. If the attack fails to, uh, to do damage or is stopped by armor, it does not stun the target. Okay. Huh, that's bad. He really needs to die, especially because he's now tough as five. Uh, <laughs> we don't like this. We don't like this at all. Yeah, they are aggressive. So, oh, hang on. oh no, no, before I do this, um, one of the basic infantry is a thing. One of the basic infantry is a, a veteran. One of them has a scope. So the veteran is five. It is the blue dude at the end. And the one with the scope is two. It's the yellow dude. Uh, that one there. <laughs> cool. That is. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. We have deployment conditions. They are aggressive. That is 15. Okay, just line formation so they stay where they are. Okay, we cannot seize the initiative because they're swift and that's what they do. Which means it is time for us to roll initiatives. Yeah, we are going second. Honestly, at this point, going to be real. All I really want to do is grab that. If I, I'm going to run um, Lyra in, see if she can get the um, uh access because she's got nine inch moves so she might just be able to be in range if she can do that she can get the um access codes hopefully do that on the first turn then we can move back and desperately desperately try and um clear the field in three turns oof okay firstly the lieutenant is running up uh gonna take a shot at lyra as the closest one uh Plus two to hit, so 
five for threes yes and oh dear um uh, <laughs> so, um thingy uh fives to wound no but she isn't okay oh crap she's not backing them stunned oh that's real bad um very very bad here because yeah these guys are not um affected by the um fog only we are however what i have just realized is the specialist doesn't have a plasma rifle anymore it gets a handgun because it's a psychic well the best it's a unique individual so yeah going to take a shot at um kirk because the closest model and then it's going to run up not um uh, thingy so uh, it's going to fail to um, wound, and it does not cause a um, stun token. Hooray! The commander also moved up. Going to take a shot at Anissa. So I've given it Anissa the camo cloak, so she's in cover. She's within two inches of a piece of cover. So that means that um, he needs uh, plus. He gets plus two, so he's forced to hit her. No, he misses. Nah, <laughs> screw you. It's going to get worse from here. Get the specialist with the fury rifle into a Nissa. Hits! Oh god, damage two, so threes to wound. Fails, but knocks her back and stuns her. Shite. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Next. Also, fury rifle going for Kirk. Needs threes to hit. Hits, needs threes to wound. Oh my god, oh my flipping god. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're all stunned. Not one of them has taken a wound yet. This is mental trousers, especially because the entire back row still has to go. <laughs> yeah, this one is going to take a shot at Kirk. Um, going to miss, cool. Uh, okay. By the way, if you can hear it, I am very, very sorry. There is a plane going overhead and... Unfortunately, round here, they fly very low, so, <laughs> yeah, if you can hear, like, a rumbling in the background, that's exactly what it is. Uh, got the next four, I'm going to move the next four up, because they're all going to be taking shots at this lot anyway, so, meh. Okay, yellow into Kirk, again, closes, needs threes, misses. Uh, going to fire at Lyra, needs fours. Uh, yep, hits. Uh, fails to wound, but she is not back and stunned again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, this one is going to fire at Kirk, then, as the closest. Going to miss. This one's going to fire at Anissa. Is going to miss, because, uh, yeah, she's uh, higher than he. Oh, my giddy aunt. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, it may be a case of grab the... Um, uh, grab the uh, research data and just run for it at this point. Um, I do not think we can take this on. This is terrifying. Uh, <laughs> even with all of our things, it's just like the amount of stun tokens we've got is real bad. Uh, yeah. Tell you what, first up, Orgak is going to move over. Yeah, I can't grab it and, um, thing. Uh, I can't grab it and, um, shoot and be in cover. So he's going to run there because he needs to be in action. And, you know, everyone else, um, do you know what? One good thing about being knocked back an inch, it means everyone is now within eight inches of the table edge. <sighs> Problem is, if they run, Orgak's going to get gunned down. I'm going to take I'm going to risk it. Um, I absolutely do not think I can take this lot on. I don't need to win to carry on. So yeah, they are all Wobble wobble wing off the table. Um, basically, Orgak just needs to survive. 
If I can roll a one or uh, next turn or get, gets off the table, I still haven't found a home for the bats, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, Orgak will just run that way. Otherwise, he's got to survive an entire round's worth of shooting, which could be really, really bad. Let's hope it's not. Cool. Please get off the table, Orgak. So, Orgak is six inches away from the side of the table. If I roll a one, he immediately leaves. Otherwise, he takes the entire turn's worth of shooting from this lot, which is bad. So, no, he does not. Okay, he's going to take the entire turn's worth of shooting. I'm going to start with the psychic just as a flat um, damage zero attack on him. No, it uh, does take a stun token from it. So yeah, uh, everyone's going to move up and start shooting. Christ. Yep. Um, so <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. he's in the open. Um, let's start. Basically, it just goes along the line. So that one first. It is combat plus one. So it needs six fours to hit. Hits fives to wound. Fails to wound. Knocks it back an inch. One stun token. All, the, the benefit here is that if they do knock him out, uh, he at least survives the battle and is the same as him running away. Fury Rifle. Um, hits, because it's plus three. Uh, does wound. Oh, God. Um, one point of luck knocks him three inches that way. Okay. Crap. Um, slightly screws with the thing, actually. Uh, um, right, uh, rifle there needs force to hit. Misses. That one needs three, uh, you know, hits anyway. Fails to wound, knocks back. Stuns. Uh, that one needs, um, four misses. That one, uh, the psychic needs, um, Fours, no. Boss needs fives. I uh, need those threes. Hits. Fails to wound, but he is knocked out. So he's not dead, but he has been um, KO'd. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, that was unpleasant, but I'm glad I just. I, it's the first time I've ever played a game of this where I'm just like, no, don't even care. Grab the objective and GTFO. And I'm glad I did because. Jesus, that was nasty. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I just, I, yeah. But I've got the objective, and no one died. I'm going to take that as a win, and I'll see you in the post game. <laughs> Woof. Okay, that was um. An event that happened in our lifetime. That was incredibly nasty. Um, holy crap. Okay, so, um, yeah, luckily no one actually got injured, which is good. Um, so, uh, don't need to resolve uh, rival. Cause it turns out you've got to hold the field for that. I've been playing that wrong for months. Uh, there's no patron status, no quest progress. We do get paid. We do, in fact, get paid. That is, um... D6. Uh, three credits. Cool. Hell yes. So, um, Battlefield Finds. No. <laughs> uh, no invasion. We do have a check for loot. Um, which is quite nice. Um, come on. It's been nice. Um, 18 is a weapon. And that weapon is... 89 it's grenades it's three more frigging frack grenades I, I say frigging frack grenades that would have helped in the last actually it wouldn't have helped us in the last game we literally did not cl get close enough to use them uh, <laughs> just uh, yeah okay uh, <laughs> no one got injured few um Everyone gets 2 XP because we did not succeed, but we did gain, um, uh, no one, um, got injured. 
which means I've given Orgak, um, I've given him plus one reactions. Um, his first one off the bat for that, so his reactions of two now. So, yeah, should be slightly faster, which especially with a rocket launcher should be pretty good. Hopefully. Uh, let's see what our campaign term events say. Nice, quick, easy one when you lose, isn't it? Uh, is, um, ah, four. Four is the, the life support system on the ship needs better up, uh, upgrades bad, uh, badly. Um, I need to pay 1d6 in life, uh, life support um, costs. Or four credits. I, so we're actually down one now. Thanks. Thanks, game. Uh, our, our, um, thingy, our, um, camp character event is Orgak. I, he seems, or well, seems to be Orgak, um, game today. 61. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, you make, you've made a real personal break, uh, breakthrough. Select one camp ability score that has not been increased from its starting value from the um, character's en entrance the campaign. It is increased by plus one immediately. Now, I have a feeling Orgak is savvy plus one. I think that is what he started the campaign with, and I'm just going to have to check that because um, he's maxed out um, speed, combat, and toughness at this point. But it may just be, I think Orgak might have a free, get, be getting a free point of savvy. Let's see. Uh, but, but, uh, he is a primordial um, uh, uh, slash re primeval slash regressive society. I'm actually, I'm checking this on camera. You can't stop me. Uh, I've got to pad this run time out somehow, damn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, blah, 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 blah. regressive plus one toughness. Yep. Um, plus one low tech weapon, which. We uh, almost certainly got rid of at this point. Uh, his motivation is glory. Glory is plus one combat, plus one military weapon, and starship crew plus one something. Yeah, he has not upped his savvy since the start of the campaign. So yeah, Orgak, Orgak is doing very well. Plus one savvy, plus one um, reactions. Just, that's it. Just, he's done really well. Uh, and if you want to see us doing really well, <coughs> <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I, I am sure future fights on Dead End will be slightly better than this. Uh, slightly longer as well, hopefully. Uh, so, remember to subscribe if you want to see more. Um, try to get these out every Tuesday and Thursday. There may be more. Um, if you, yeah, um, if you liked, liked. Sorry, I'm in a little bit of shell shock at just how quickly that was over. Uh, and yeah, uh, comment down below with a game you felt was best to just run away from. Um, for the record, my game isn't this. The game I always run away from is Monopoly. Uh, come, <laughs> come at me in the comments. <laughs> Until then, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Bye.